In this video, we're going to talk about the order book. The order book is going to be the first thing that you really need to understand before trading begins. So let's have a look. Now, the order book is detailed right here. The, what the order book is, is the set of all open orders that currently exist on the GDAX marketplace. One prominent feature that you're going to notice is that it appears that the order book is partitioned into two groups. Now, that's because it is. We have on the top in the red, we have the sell orders. And on the bottom in the green, we have the buy orders. Now, looking just here in the middle, we see USD spread, and we see that that value is one cent. Now, the spread is the difference between the lowest sell order and the highest buy order. So you're going to have some spread in the middle, and that's going to be no man's land. That's going to be the distance between the two order books or the two parts of the order book. Now, just some terminology here. The sell side order book, these are all called asks because all of these orders are orders that Bitcoin holders, in our case, are asking particular price for their Bitcoin. Bitcoin. So these are called asks. Now on the bottom, on the buy side in the green, these are called bids because these are bidders. These are individuals wanting to buy Bitcoin from the askers or the holders of the Bitcoin. Now at the top, we can see that we have two columns. We have the market size and we have the price. At each price, we have a market size. Now notice that these prices are price bucket. So this is one bucket starting at 4,225. And we can see that the size of this bucket is 15 Bitcoin. It doesn't, this isn't necessarily one person, but this is all the orders in the market at this price represent 15 Bitcoin. So if you add up all the orders at this price that are sales, we have the total amount of 15 Bitcoin available for sale at this price, 4,225. Now, as we go down in each bucket, we have a new price and we have a different potential size. So this represents the market supply on the GDAX exchange in the GDAX marketplace. This is the supply to the market available for sale at each price. Now, if we flip to the buy side, we see we have the same values we have for each price. We have a size. And now this is market demand. At each price, there's a particular demand, willing buyers ready to purchase at that particular price. So if there becomes a seller at that price, then the GDAX exchange is going to match those two, facilitate that trade between those individuals. The size at that particular price will adjust accordingly. I hope this video was helpful. Please like the video, subscribe, and support this Deep Lizard channel. Thank you.